Hello, collective. Welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember, like, remember to like, comment, and share. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you always for watching the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. Okay, I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. I return to source. I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. Okay, as I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Okay, so we have a king of cups. I mean, king of what? The king of cups come out. We have a king of wands out here that was celebrating some type of downfall. There's something he has done behind the scenes. Someone thought that they had some type of victory over you, but what they did not see is that they were putting themselves in the five of pentacles energy. Someone is having some type of epiphany about what their destiny, what not their destiny, what their life holds. Okay. You may have a group of friends behind the scenes that, yeah, I'm telling you. Oh, baby. Mm. Mm. Dang. Okay, so we have a group of people that were working together at the order of a king, king of wands. To what I'm hearing is to dismantle someone from behind the scenes. Someone have ha has had some type of obsession with you and they've been misleading a group, a community about you. And there's some type of revelation going on that like everything is being revealed in this organization. Someone has gone from being fulfilled in life, having friends, having this, having that, to being under judgment by the spirit realm. People may be rejecting this masculine who's unable to pay people now, or maybe people are not accepting bribery from him anymore to cause you some type of hindrance in order to block you. So this is someone that's been doing something behind the scenes to interfere with your manifestations. So whatever it is you've been trying to manifest in your life, he's been tempering with it with a group of friends. Okay. Now they're having to walk away because whatever they thought they were going to get out of this situation, they're not getting. Okay, they're not getting, they're going to have to move on, walk away, something like that, because these people have self-sabotage and this chapter is over and this is a final decision. Something is final and they're finding out that you are protected and do have options and offers coming in. This is something that these people were working on blocking. They say, hey, you're either going to work with us or you're not. You may end up working with a king of pentacles that's in the upright. Uh, this, there are a couple of King of Pentacles I've been picking up on. There is one you need to absolutely stay away from. And then there is a, yeah, there's one you need to stay away from. And then there's one that you, you've never met before that's watching you from a distance, maybe traveling towards you to give you some type of offer. But there is a King of Pentacles within this community or this collaboration that has been working with these people to end you, destroy you, dismantle you. And he's going through some type of ending himself. Look at, look, look, look at this King of Pentacles standing his ground in order to come in and give you some type of superficial friendship. But he's afraid that you're going to, uh, you know, uh, uh, reject him because you know, someone is a liar, but he's still persistent in coming into your energy. You know why he's persistent because someone is going through laws is way down and burdened. Used to be very comfortable in life, but karma has kicked in. So he's going through some type of what? Ending and it's planning on how to come into your energy. Okay. Uh, someone may want to meet with you to give you some type of work offer. Okay. Um, maybe they want you to see them as an emperor or whatever this is that's advocating for you. I think this is someone different. However, it's not that King of Pentacles It's not this King of Wands. You don't have a contract with either of these masculines. This could be the same person just showing up in different energies. Your commitment has led to some type of fulfillment for you. Like your, your spiritual abundance are starting to materialize and you are out here self-sufficient and independent as can, 
asking B, or this is what's up ahead of you. What I just heard is that there's a masculine trying to force his way into your energy just so he can start something. So he can throw you some type of energy, do some type of ritual on you to get some type of karmic cycle started over, but he's not able to make it into your energy. In order for someone to come around you, they're going to have to be genuine. And this has him way down because this is not someone genuine. This is someone that comes with a lot of conflict. You two are the complete opposite, but he's trying to find the strength what to move on with this goal of his and come into your energy. When he does, it's going to be some type of tower. So... Someone has a lot of self-actualizing to do because you are someone that's in the upright and you are protecting your new beginning because you know what was ahead of you. And you know these kind of people coming around you is going to cause some type of hindrance because the offers they're coming in with are probably not even genuine. There's some type of ulterior motive. Someone may want to want you, dine you, and then just leave you on the side of the road and say, I've, heard, I've gotten what I wanted or needed from her then or him, and that's it. But there's an emperor um, that you're not aware of. You've probably never met this person before. Yeah, someone is at a distance. There's an emperor at a distance that's going through some type of ending you've never met before that's taking action, will be connecting with you in divine timing. He's going through some type of ending with a queen of wands behind the scenes that he invested in. She may be working with someone in the justice system to cause him some type of hindrance to block him from being able to move forward. And this woman could be causing hindrances in your life as well because she does not want this man to end something with her. He's your equal. He sees you, right? Someone wants to work with you, wants to balance something out with you. Someone is going through healing and things like that, getting back into a higher vibrational state of being because they see you as an empress and want to give to you. Someone may want to spoil you and take some type of new path with you, right? This is something that's like an ace of pentacles offer that's going to lead to a 10 of pentacles as well and help the both of you move on with life, okay? So let's say you and your higher level soulmate are mirroring each other's, mirroring some type of betrayal. So the woman in his life betrayed him this is a queen of wands reverse that I'm seeing that betrayed this man. Even if she shows up as a queen of wands upright in readings, there will be cards around her that will let you know that she comes with problems. Like my last reading I did, she showed up with the devil energy below her. So which means that she's someone very toxic, who be very loose with the body and things like that. But she's she's crying a lot and angry behind the scenes because this man is moving on away from her and he has his sword pulled out at her because he knows exactly what she's been doing. Someone may have maneuvered, manipulated their way into a man's energy based off of misrepresenting themselves to be someone that's in the upright. So she may have said that she was religious and she studied this man to see what kind of women he was into. So if he was into women that were reserved, they weren't out here loose and giving their pack back to everybody, she kind of presented herself to be in that likeness. So she would have been their bad mouthing, the modern women that do, you know, have options and things like that. She would have pretended to be very modest, very orthodox and things things like that to get into this man's energy, but she's anything but those characteristics or traits. Now there's something that has been revealed about this woman. She lays, someone is very like actually open, may go both ways. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. Uh, I'm hearing yes. So she could go both ways, but she's been exposed there's something where this woman has been using religion. She and her mother or someone else has been using religion to manipulate a man to stay in a union that he has not been fulfilled in. But somehow she found out that he's interested in you and she's taking, she's been taking actions to cause blockages. I wouldn't be surprised if someone goes bat s h i t crazy to try to expose a masculine and say that he does this, he's into like menage a trois or he has some type of STDs or something like that just so that she can embarrass him in front of the world. That's not going to work because this man is going through some type of healing and he sees what kind of tactic that is that she's using, right? So whatever this is that she thinks she's doing, it's not going to work. It's like someone is desperate behind the scenes to block a masculine from moving forward to be with an empress energy because this is how this man sees you. 
He sees you as an empress energy that's in the upright. You may know a lot about some type of situation, um, but he also knows why that this chapter is over with this woman. I'm telling you, it's over. Yeah, it's over with the queen of wands. It's over. There ain't no coming back. Nothing. She may have even been out here trying to compete with you. Trying to be a better version than you. And this man sees right through it. Maybe he didn't see it before. Whatever it was, he had her. Like, this is someone that played. She had him that like, so wrapped around her fingers. Like, this is someone that plays mental games. Lie. And the family she comes from, they're the same. It's an all for one and one for all kind of family. They all lie. They all lie. They, they want to manipulate him. This is something either her mother does or the whole family to keep him trapped so that he does not have a brand new passionate beginning somewhere else. And the moment this man takes action to have a new start somewhere else, look at here. It's a yes. I'm telling you, a yes from the universe. Complete yes. Yes, 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 yes. So whoever this is, you need to run, run, run as fast as you can. Because there's a, a, a queen of wands that's planning something for you behind the scenes. She may try to bring you legal issues or something like that just to prevent you from moving on with your life. Yeah, because she's that desperate. And whoever this king of wands is that's trying to travel to come towards you, collective, nah. No, 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 no. Like, you're not accepting an offer from this person because you already know who it is you're supposed to be with. You know what this person has been doing behind the scenes. Like, whoever you are supposed to be with, you never met them before. You've never met them before, but they may want to come in and give to you. You've never met them before, and it doesn't have to be finances. It could just be you and them meeting and having some type of discussion or things like that. Opening up to each other, healing each other, something like that. Um, but whoever you're meant to be with, you never met them. This is a new person. New person. Never worked with them. Uh, never went to school. With nothing. You've never met this person before. And someone has been trapped in some type of horrendous marriage that's all based on a lie. The, this is like a false. With this uh, 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 three of swords out here with the higher fence. Someone is disappointed about some type of marriage they got in because they were misled by religion. I don't know if he was religious as well and he saw a problem with someone's gifts and things like that, but he knows now that your gifts is actually genuine. Like you see things that other people don't see. There's something like that. I tell you, these high priestesses, it's like this is the year where high priestesses are either being seen as very genuine and gifted or being seen as a facade. But a majority of them are being seen as the truth. There is some type of awakening that a masculine is going through. Because his whole life or for a time in his life, he's always been religious. And he had a problem with uh, this aspect of life. Divination, spirituality, and things like that, right? Now that he knows the truth. It's like if you and this person come together, uh, this is two different worlds coming together. Religion and spirituality coming together. But it'll be something that's balanced out. It'll be something that's balanced out. It is not this king of wands again. No, he's a narcissist. Planning to defeat you. May want to come in and say something to you. Make it seem like he wants to apologize and is sending you some type of good co communication when it comes to what commitment or something like that. Nah, 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 nah. Someone is playing games out here. Playing games. Don't do it. There's someone, there's a group of people behind this man that are sending him in your energy. Yeah. And they're going through, it's, they're going through disappointment. It's like there are, there's a group out here that's desperate to be in someone's energy. Yeah desperate to be in your energy they've tried everything nothing is working so just be cautious and i think you already know the truth oh yeah honey you know the truth you know the absolute truth that these people are disappointed behind the scenes the universe has them in some type of timeout listen source this time out that you keep putting these people in it's not working we're going to need you to do something a little different because time out ain't working for these people it's like they have too much time 
in that corner to come up with new ideas on how they can keep causing these empresses and light workers problems. So we just going to need you to kind of up it a little bit. Up it. Okay? These people have been out here self-sabotaging all kinds of stuff. Now he wants to see you as the queen of cups. He didn't see you as the queen of cups anymore. And then you have another queen of cups behind the scenes that want to take action and come into your energy to cause you more problems. It says she has some choice words for you. How low vibrational and dumb and idiotic do you have to be to be wanting to come into someone's energy to pick fights with them? It's like, I'm hurting, so you got to hurt. Okay? I'm hurting, so you got to hurt. I'm holding on to wounds that have nothing to do with you. So I have to come in and cause you distress. So she may want to take some type of impulsive action to come in and say some nasty things to you. And it's just going to make her look even more dumb than she already is. Because she's unhappy about two people coming together. She don't want someone to see you as beautiful or in the upright. She said, oh, before he comes to you, I'm going to come in and, and, and cause you problems. I'm going to tell you what I, what I got to say. Oh, she's coming. She's, her sister is thinking about it. She said, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. You may want to be practical, honey, because there's something you don't see when you come into someone's energy. You may want to sit your raggedy behind down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. There's something in here about someone's sister manipulating them, misleading them, or something like that. I'm telling you, the car came out. Oh, gosh. The car came out. She She's wanting to come in, take some type of rash action to come in and give you a piece of her mind because she's all over the place. Her emotions are all over the place. She's been left out in the cold and rejected by a masculine so now she feels like if she comes in and gives you a piece of her mind, that's going to put you in your place and you won't want to get with this masculine because she don't told you who you are, that you're, 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 you're beneath her. <laughs> Baby, it ain't our business. This man don't want you no more. And he decided to walk away from you because he sees you as death. He said, I'm holding back. I'm keeping away from you because I want to go connect with someone. What? <laughs> Genuine. <laughs> he wants to go somewhere he can thrive. She said, uh, she's beneath me. I could never look like that. I would never do that. Ugh. She, she, she ain't even all that. The whole time, she's passing out about you. He want to be you, look like you, sound like you, everything like you. <laughs> Man, because I'm telling you, he's, he's leaving. He said, I'm free myself. What this woman is mad about is that she cannot get money from this man anymore. He's not paying nothing no more. Maybe she was getting some type of allowance from him. You know, there's women out here that don't believe in working. They believe in handouts, whether it's from the government or a sugar daddy, baby daddy, or whoever. Hands be out all day long. So she ain't getting no more money. Don't got no money left. Still out here greedy. We can't help you. So since he's not giving to her anymore, she wants to come in and put you in your place because you're the reason he's not going to be giving you money anymore. How dare you make him want to be what uh, a committal person? He's always been non-committal. Not here you come, Miss Goody Goody Two Shoe, talking about families and having self-respect, talking about loyalties and things like that, or being someone of high honor and having some class about yourself. Now he's coming in to give you this offer and he wants to come in quickly. So he's cutting she and the queen of wands out. And how dare he sees you as beautiful. He told, she told him you weren't beautiful. Something was wrong with you. You're too this, you're too that, you're too skinny, you're too fat, you're too tall, you're too short, all kinds of stuff. And the whole time that man ain't paying her no mind. He said, yep, uh-huh, and I like that, uh-huh. She's what? She's too tall? Yeah, I like her. She's too short? I like her. She's too dark? Oh, I love chocolate. Pissed off. Oh, a sister is pissed off. You know, you always... Women don't understand. Women that are in this energy, they don't understand. You, you, Every action you take against another woman, you're telling a man exactly why he should not be with you. The moment you take the focus away from you and put it on another woman to see how that woman is that she's she's 
this, she's beneath you, you are this, you are more better than her or something like that. That man is just looking at you like clown, 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 clown. Like he's like, where is her red nose so she can put it on? Because this is some clownery mess. This man could have been low vibrational before, but he's going through some type of healing. And I don't know what this has to do with. Maybe it has to do with him sleeping around or something like that. Because I see a lot of women in front of him. So this is someone that likes to have options. Um, mm, mm, mm. Honey, you may want to be careful. He's wanting to go from having options to being what? Having all the ultimate fulfillment. So instead of having the sleep of multiple women and things like that, now he wants to be exclusive. Because if you can find one person that can fulfill all of your needs, what's the purpose of having uh monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday what's the point and it has her trapped in her mind she's pissed off she's pissed off she's she's gonna sneak and come into your energy just like he's sneaking away to have victory i'm telling you somewhere else this man wants to be committed and he's going for it he's going for it <laughs> Uh, it's a tower that's ending this chapter. It's been a long chapter, but this is some type of rebirth that's going to lead to some type of genuine love. And this is a gift from the universe. Now, I don't know who this masculine is. Okay. I don't know who this person is because my last, my readings in the past three weeks, honey, they've been all over the place. You guys are just masculine showing up everywhere. King of Swords showing up to come in and defeat a feminine. King of Swords coming in to give a feminine an offer. Oh, yeah. Honey, I'm telling you the truth about this woman. He's having a fresh start. He done left. He said, I'm going somewhere else to have a fresh start. New start somewhere else. He left. He's traveling. He's he, This man could stay a very far distance from you, collective, and he's leaving. He said, mm, 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 mm. Before I leave, I'm going to make sure the bills are paid. You know, I want to uh, hire a, a, a babysitter for the dogs, my car, make sure it's, you know, taken care of. Maybe he at her cars, he may have multiple cars or something like that. Like he's taking care of all of his obligations before he leaves. Someone may be moving away prominently. She don't even know it. But he's leaving to have a fresh start somewhere else, a new beginning giving his offer somewhere else he has clarity about the matter now and when she's when he's leaving she ain't even from the inspector and he will be successful successful like he's keeping his distance from this woman if he wants to communicate with you she ain't gonna know nothing like someone is moving in silence smooth criminal operation out here smooth criminal yeah be careful though because i've just been picking up on too many masculines too many masculines. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, this could be your emperor that's in his king of wands energy and he's disappointed. Okay, something I just heard. Someone could have been living as a bachelor. Maybe they just got out of a relationship and they were exploring their options. So maybe he has explored his options and now he's had enough of that. He said, okay, I've done all the... Packing and whacking, I can do all the hum, hum Wednesdays, hum Tuesdays, whatever you all call it. I've done enough of that. Now I'm going to go ahead and do what I need to do to be the best version of myself so I can have this fresh start. It's something like that with a masculine. But this woman here, she says she ain't having it. There are two different Queen of Cups. The one he sees and the one he was with the one that wants to come towards you like you are an empress so when you show up if you don't show up as an empress in your reach you're going to show up in one of your characteristics or some of your characteristics so both of you are queen of cups but she's a queen of cups in the reverse she's wanting to take some type of action to come in and give you a piece of her mind cause you some type of heartbreak she said i just want you to tell i just want to tell you like i had sds with him last weekend here's a picture of us I just want, want you to know that he likes to have options. He likes to have two, three, four women all at once. Here's the picture. Pressed. Like she is pressed. A sister is pressed. Pressed, 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 pressed. Bothered. And the whole time you may not even know any of them. What was it? <laughs> You're like, who are you again? 
Where do I know you from? You say, yo, who is interested in me? I ain't never met him before now. Is he cute? That's when you start tormenting them. Since you want to leave your neck of the woods or come to another woman's neck of the wood. Is he cute? Girl, let me see. Let me see. No, no, no. I don't want to see the pictures of the threes on that. That's low vibrational. I want to see his picture. Damn, girl, he is cute. I may have to holler at that. Just mess with him. Because you know you don't got time for him, her, them, or anybody at anybody in the equation. Because an empress is always focused on an empress. Like, what's going on in our world? How we can improve ourselves? That's what we're worried about. We ain't worried about Tom, Dick, and Henry. We don't care. We don't care if he's with Melissa, Maria, Chantel, David, whoever he's with. That's his business. When it's time for him to embark on his healing journey, he'll do it and move on with his life. But, honey, you got to play with these kind of women when they come towards you to tell you how a man did this and he's this and he's that. Girl, you for real? Damn. He be putting it down like that? You said three women? Four? Five? Damn, he got a lot of energy. I may want to try that out. Because you know some of these men don't be lasting but 30 seconds in bed, so I may want to try him out. <laughs> Teddy! <laughs> petty! Just petty as hey. I told you, I have a petty side. I have a petty side. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. You got to mess with these kind of women. You say, you got all this energy and time to come into my life. To tell me about a man that I don't know, never been with, ain't thinking about. Okay, I got one for you. You can even ask her for his number. What's his number, girl? You know, it's okay. Since you said he's coming towards me, I'll find out. I'll find out. It's okay. <laughs> ah, <laughs> you got to have some fun with these women. God dang. Leave your whole life to go to another woman to tell them what? That a man is out here doing what? Living his life. Doing what it is you enable him to do. You, you told him it was okay. You said, I don't, I don't mind what he does. I don't care what he does as long as he keeps giving me money. Uh, well, he don't want to give you no money no more. So that means what? You go and find yourself a new cash cushion. Isn't that what the sugar babies do? When the sugar daddy stop giving them money, what do they do? They go and find a new sugar daddy. Why are you stuck on this one? Because you sound stuck, stuck. You, you, you say you two should be glued together. <laughs> but, honey, this, could, this couldn't be me you coming towards, too, because I'm going to hurt your feelings. I'm going to hurt your feelings. I may put my detective Google gadget hat on and find that man's number and say, Hey, sir, I heard you be putting it down. You know what? I'm going to put my spirituality on hold for like five seconds. Okay, for like 24 hours. Where you at? <laughs> I heard you got a big old wing wall. Look, at, look, 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 look. Right there. <laughs> Long. <laughs> and you know how to use it too? Oh, she don't act up royally. Come on, come on, come 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 on. <laughs> he says he already likes you. Look, you just made it easier for him. <laughs> Anyways, collective, the universe wants you to know that you are a lucky mother sucker. They are blessing you with a whole lot of different things. Different offers. Yeah, you're honey, abundance. In abundance, in wealth, in love. Work opportunities, money, new start, fresh start, commitments, honey. Oh, Lord. You are a lucky charm. Anyways. And then we have the fire. It said be guarded with your actions and words. Madame Queen of Cups, I think that's for you. The one that's wanting to take action to go into someone's uh, energy to cause them distress. Be mindful. Okay, and then whoever you are, sir, that's taking action, moving discretion because there's someone in your energy trying to block you. It's not just this Queen of Cups. It's a lot of people around you. So learn how to move in discretion. Wherever you're going, whoever you're going to, move in silence. Be a smooth criminal like Michael Jackson. Let her be hit by a smooth criminal. It said, calm your mind. Mm, my sister, they're talking to you. Calm your mind. Be practical. Move on with your life. 
When a man wants to leave you, let him go. When a woman wants to leave you, let them go. Let her go. And he, <clears throat> let them go. Thank you. It said, practice mindfulness and meditation to find clarity. Clear negative thoughts. Because you got a whole lot of it. Anyways, thank you folks for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.